I got inspired through a series of videos that I was watching earlier today and that inspired me to go and look at some other different types of variations for the Ford Mustang. Now, we all know that in 2021, there is a Ford Mustang Mach-E. I did a review on that. Um, actually, I did a reading on that. And I thought about it, and I remembered seeing, and I'm not for sure if it was on TFL Car or not, but it was an electric Mustang Coupe prototype. So then it inspired me to go to this other website um, and come to find out there was a uh, Ford uh, Mustang Cobra GT electric powered supercar. So then I thought about it a little bit and I said, well, you know, based upon the videos that I actually saw and based upon the reading that I actually did on it, it brought me to this point. Now, this variation is more of like a prototype test mule um, what we did to it is I put purple wheels on it um, it has green calipers signifying the electrification green as far as like environmental um, on the calipers they're Brembo caliper calipers I designed a logo um, based upon the mock E kind of like a Mustang with the E Stang actually printed on top of it and the words E Stang of course are in green to signify the eco friendly portion of it. Now um, I didn't want to get too in depth in it because this is kind of like just the first stage of processing for this vehicle because of course we had to upgrade the um, suspension on it a little bit now it's not finished by any means necessary it is a work in progress um, it has an overall increased weight which is part of the reason why we had to go in and change the the suspension because when you add weight to a vehicle um, like the battery packs would add to the vehicle now of course once we start driving it you'll see the fuel gauge on the right hand side of the screen still primarily because like I said, it's still a work in progress. So technically, it's kind of like a hybrid E-Stang, but the ending result will be in a total electrification Stang. Now, this vehicle you can download on GTA5Mods.com, and um, it's underneath uh, Mustang 2019. Um, now this is my own kind of a spin on it, um, just based upon, um, some important factors in life. Number one, I presented in some of the other videos how, um, environment is pretty important because what we do now automatically affects what happens in the near future. So even though um, 
most people still have gas powered vehicles um, ultimately there is an effect based upon what they tell us there is an effect on the environment now I'm not an environment specialist so I do know that based upon the statistics that they give us uh, that the electrification of vehicles um, have a less or impact on the environment so henceforth prototype e-stang mustang e-stang um, the article that I was reading uh, it's titled look what Ford dragged in Mustang Cobra GT electric powered supercar now this was written by Daniel and it was published on January the 12th 2021 at approximately 3 10 p.m. it says that the Mustang Cobra GT is not a production car that's ready for sale yet but we are sure all the electric vehicles fans EV fans are putting together the money to buy and own it looking at the shattering performance figures we are quite sure that a street version of the Mustang will not be made and instead a milder version will arrive if people push for ownership to make things really clear to petrol heads reading this here is a 1400 horsepower Mustang that weighs in at about 5,000 pounds and can do the standstill to quarter mile accelerations in below 8 seconds also by the time you reach the quarter mile mark this Mustang speedometer will be reading a cool 167 miles per hour now Ford Motor Company is not playing around with this Mustang just to get staggered acceleration figures and have the media writing about it since revealing the car we've continued to fine-tune it and now we're just scratching the surface of what we may be able to achieve with this much electric power in a drag racing setting said Mark Rushbrook Global Director Ford Performance Motorsports so like I, I was saying this is kind of with the mishup or mashup between all of these different ideas um, this is kind of the outcome of it so we're going to jump inside and of course nothing has really changed on the interior of the vehicle other than that it's got one gear and pretty much it just has that hum sound to it now like I, I said the the weight has been changed which kind of changes the dynamics of the car in this platform um, most of the time when you see different vehicles um, and Ford has actually done a really good job at taking a vehicle that pretty much looks like your normal vehicle 
but applying the body of the vehicle to a platform um, kind of the same way that Tesla applies their vehicle to a pretty much a standard platform and then you can change what goes over the top of it so henceforth this vehicle technically I mean if it was a true electric unless they were just going to have exhaust pipes for just aesthetics um, but I'm pretty sure that you won't probably find something like that because most electric cars you don't find exhaust now they may do the um, what do you call it the imitation type of exhaust outlets um, that are pretty much like mounted to the bumper but like I, I was saying this is just a work in progress um, we're not going to do any testing of it we're just going to kind of um, get familiar with the car but this is based upon the same structure that the other one um, but as you can see I have a lot of front end plow um, and it just doesn't seem stable at the moment but just to kind of go over what I've been working on um, or pretty much thinking about um, a lot of times you run into situations where the weight of situations are hindering the performance of the suspension of the vehicle and a lot of times that weight is necessary because of the components of the vehicle and with those components being there um, it brings you to a different conclusion of or not conclusion but necessarily but the the path that is needed to go in order to figure out what's going on with the vehicle so for right now what I'm doing is I am looking at how the suspension is pretty much kind of riding on the wheels because the acceleration and the gearing and everything has been already taken care of that has been established already but as far as the suspension with handling the weight of the vehicle like I said it just kind of changes everything and um, So that's going to pretty much conclude the video. Um, like I said, this is still a work in progress of um, 2021 Mustang Mach-E. Not, well, not a Mach-E. Mach-E is the five-door version. But this is 
an E Stang, which is kind of getting a little used to saying that, um, primarily because it's not anything that is current. Um, even though we do have this Mustang Cobra GT uh, electric powered super car. So, on that note, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will talk.